Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna look at an accessory for your AR style paintball gun or airsoft gun. Today, this is the Mission First Tactical Battlelink Minimalist Stock. So this is a mil-spec uh, style stock, or it's for a mil-spec style buffer tube. Uh, so if you're using this for paintball, you shouldn't have any issues getting it on there. If you're using it for airsoft, you wanna make sure that your buffer tube is mil-spec specs, not commercial specs. Otherwise, you'll have some problems getting it on there. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Uh, polymer construction, it's lightweight, and they call it the minimalist stock for a reason because it is minimalistic. So they've uh, gotten rid of a lot of stuff that's just not needed, a lot of material that you don't need to have, and uh, really pared it down so you're getting the most bang for your uh, small size buck right there. Uh, same operation, instead of having this big piece that you see hanging down right here, the um, activation is actually built into the bottom rail right here. Makes it really cool and, and simple and sleek, unique. It's got accessory uh, slots right there. Multiple spots for putting link, uh, like uh, bungee slings or whatever, one points, two points, whatever kind of sling style you're putting on there. Um, it is slightly longer than this standard AR one right here. So let's kind of stack these. I'm gonna try to, you're not gonna be able to see it like that, but if I tilt it like this, you can see that it is just a bit longer, so it's gonna give you a little bit of extra length on there. Go ahead and throw this on. Now pull this down, to get it on there, you gotta pull this down. If you just push this piece down and try to slide it on, it will not go on there. You literally need to pull this down further than it normally would go by just pushing it by hand like this. That way you can get it to actually slide on, and that can be difficult sometimes. So I'm gonna try to get a hold of it and get it on there. It's a really tough spring, and they don't want it just sliding around all over the place. There we go. Let me get it on there. It still uses all the same locking positions that the original one used, so you still have plenty of, of choices for length or shortness, however you want to do it. I like this because I don't like a stock that's big and obtrusive. I like something that's small, lightweight, narrow, job, just easily usable and fits nicely in your shoulder. It's thin, it's rubberized, so the back right here has a nice rubberized panel to it. It's gonna give you a lot of grip on your shoulder and it seems to just fit nicely right up in that pocket of your shoulder in that little crease right there. Super comfortable, feels good, um, and it feels sturdy inside there. Not a lot of wobble, not a lot of wiggle, yet still easy to articulate back and forth. Um, plus, it just looks cool. I think it looks way better than what was originally on there. Um, so if you're looking for something to spice it up a little bit, even if you don't really even use it, you just want it to look a little bit more cool, uh, or if you're really into it and you are using it for um, recreation scenario, whatever you happen to be doing, either airsoft paintball, check this one out. Mission First Tactical Minimalist Stock. Remember, these ones that we have are the mil-spec versions. So if you're into airsoft, make sure you have the right buffer tube, otherwise you could run into some problems. Uh, it comes in a couple different colors. I think we have it in black and scorched earth. So check the website for color availability at the time you order and order yours now through ansgear.com.